meteorologist Chris Booth, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Well, we saw some clouds earlier in the day as we got uh, started in the evening, or started getting into the evening hours. We started seeing those clouds clear up, but we are watching up towards the north, up towards the Texas Panhandle and Oklahoma. That's that area of showers. That's part of that front. It's going to be making its way down to us here in the Concho Valley, and that's going to be bringing us our rain to start off our work week for tomorrow. So that's what we're going to be kind of keeping an eye on. We did see a couple showers pop up during the afternoon hours, a couple out in Coleman County and as well out towards Big Lake. Otherwise, most of us did stay dry. We're going to be looking at those rain chances to really start picking up as we go into the late morning and early afternoon hours tomorrow. Temperatures only got into the mid-90s, 95 for our high today, certainly below average, but our overnight lows were about spot on for where they should be for this time of year. And again, this rain already looking at some above average for this time of year. We're going to have a chance to add to that as we go into the week ahead. We're looking at our photos. Again, we get to get a viewer photo from Dennis King looking out at the sunset. You had several layers of clouds out there, and earlier we were able to see a sun dog, which is kind of an uh, optical illusion that kind of appears on the horizon. You can see it on the time lapse here as well. This is like looking off towards the west, and as you see the sun come down closer to the horizon, you'll start to see this ring on the edge of it. That's kind of the illusion as it gets those higher clouds. You see that little edge. That's the sun dog right there. It passes through those ice crystals in the upper level clouds. And that's what refracts that, slide, refracts that light to create that image. So again, some neat things that you kind of see out on the horizon as you're kind of taking a look at the sunset. Temperatures right now in downtown San Angelo, 84 degrees, still on the humid side with dew points in the mid 60s. And the southeasterly wind at about five miles per hour. Again, temperatures for much of the area looking already into the lower 80s. 83 in Ballinger, 84 here in San Angelo, 84 out in Mertzen, 80, one of the cooler spots in Big Lake. So again, so you're going to see those temperatures continue to drop as we go through the evening hours. And again, already seeing those winds dying down as well, expecting those nearly calm winds for us tonight. Again, mostly we saw some breezier winds earlier this afternoon, but tonight expecting those calm winds. Again, temperatures getting into the mid to lower 70s. Still rain chances, for the most part, very little with those isolated rain showers. The bigger rain chances will be coming in late tomorrow. About a 40% chance of rain showers. We'll see the increase in cloud coverage as well with those afternoon showers. Temperatures still getting into the mid-90s because that cold front won't be moving in until after that peak heating during the daytime. That's when we'll start to see those winds turn from the east as well. As we time out the future cast, kind of looking at Monday afternoon and evening hours, that's when that front starts to push through the Concho Valley. We'll start to see the scattered rain showers moving through the area. And then it kind of stalls out just to the south. That's going to give us another chance of some rain chances on Tuesday going into the early morning hours as well as into the evening hours as well. Then the front starts to slide further further south to along the Gulf Coast. That's when our rain chances will start to diminish going into Wednesday. Then we'll be watching for us to kind of start to dry out going into Thursday and into next weekend as well. So again, could be watching some cloud coverage and some isolated showers for us Wednesday and Thursday, but not nearly the same type of rain chances that we could expect to see for both Monday as well as Tuesday. Rain chances have dropped down as far as the amount that we could expect to see, basically looking for an additional inch. So again, kind of already seeing some of that grass growing because of the last rain, we could see adding on to that with the rain totals expected. Again, looking at the next couple of days, we're looking at temperatures getting into uh, the mid 90s. That's when we see that cold front coming through. The 60% chance of rain showers, then we'll be clearing things out as we go into next weekend, with temperatures slowly bouncing back. And looking at your KLST weather trivia question, what year was the first weather radar installed in the United States? That would be the answer B, 1947. The first radar was actually from the Navy from the World War II. It's actually installed in March of 1947 in Washington, D.C.